Mike's hurt. All right, let's talk about the circus that was Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. It was promoted as a clash of generations. The YouTube bad boy stepping into the ring with one of boxing's greatest legends. But let's not kid ourselves, this fight was less about boxing and more about business. Let's break it down. Man, I was, I was trying to hurt him a little bit, you know? I Fans were hyped, expecting a nostalgic throwback from Iron Mike. What they got was a sluggish, one-sided fight. Jake Paul didn't dominate, but he played it safe, and the fight ended in a decision. But let's be real, was anyone truly surprised? First things first, Mike Tyson is 58 years old and Jake Paul is 27. That's a 31-year age gap, and it showed. Tyson had about 30 seconds in the first round where he looked sharp, fast hands, solid jabs, but after that, his legs were gone. His balance was off, and honestly, it felt like he was just surviving out there. This wasn't just a disappointing fight, it was a staged event. Multiple insiders speculated that there was a no-knockout clause. Even Evander Holyfield chimed in, saying something felt off. I was scared that he was gonna hurt me, I'm trying to hurt him. And let's not forget, Tyson had a recent health scare just before the fight and was reportedly hospitalized. It's heartbreaking, the training videos hyped us up, Tyson looked like a beast. But in the ring, we saw a man well past his prime. Some fans said it was like watching their hero tarnish his legacy. And then there's Jake Paul. Love him or hate him, he knows how to sell a fight. The Netflix servers reportedly crashed because of the demand. This fight was a massive economic success. It's hard to watch the sport of boxing reduced to gimmicks like this. Even pros like Colby Covington and Eddie Hearn criticized the fight. Covington admitted he was just glad Tyson walked out of the ring without serious injuries. Eddie Hearn said it was hard to watch, and he couldn't even make it past the first round. Does he have the one knockout left? Should this fight have even been sanctioned? Tyson is 58, and the physical exams for fighters over 36 are laughably basic. Texas, where the fight took place, has some of the most lenient medical clearance processes in the country. This fight shouldn't have happened. More than 60 million households around the globe tuned into the much-touted boxing match. Reports indicate that Tyson earned $20 million for this high-profile fight, a significant payday for the former champion, and Jake Paul made around $40 million. Oh, wow. Tyson's final victory was against Clifford Etienne. The show was so, what's the takeaway? This fight wasn't about competition, it was about cash. Sure, it's entertainment, but is it the kind of entertainment boxing Guys, needs? It went the distance. No, um, I knew he was a good fighter, I knew he was prepared, but um, I came to fight. What do you think? Should fights like this be allowed? Comment below.